How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Steins Gate, my darling's embrace. So, in the last episode, we finished up a route, which means we are back here so that we can discover another route. So, if we did something here, that would jump us into Moika's route. And then the second opportunity would jump us into Ferris's route. So, we need to go ahead and take up the third opportunity. If we don't take up an opportunity, then it just sends us further down into Kirisu's route. And there we are. So, we'll uh, kind of skip ahead here to the next one. This is still the, uh, the first opportunity, I'm pretty sure. I've done this a few times now, and it's still, like... It's, it's a mystery to me, like, every time, because I've been very slow with getting these episodes out. I, I really wish it would uh, let me skip. Okay, so nothing happens here. So here's the second opportunity, which we don't want. It's, it's giving us a lot of, of chances to just open up the phone, but we don't we don't want to do that. Yeah, come on, let's... Let's not do this one. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, now this is the one that we want to take up. Do not wear number 12 for any reason. I hope this is the one we want to take up. Again, it's like totally different every time. Or it's not different, but I always forget every time. It feels like my feet are barely touching the ground as my field of vision blurs. Can we skip? No, we cannot, which means this is all new. So I did it right. I did it right this time. Slowly but steadily, the world begins to take shape again. It regains its true form. As the effects of reading Steiner begin to fade, I see that the world before me, the lab I was in, has changed. I also have a text message, and it's trash. I've been getting, like, a lot of spam. You know those texts that have the, the fake links? I've been getting a lot of those recently. I slowly raise my hand, my right hand. Number 12 is gone. There's no doubt about it. The D-mail worked. I jumped to another world line. As soon as I sink to the couch, I let out a long sigh. I have a bad feeling about what route we're in, guys. I have a really bad feeling about this route. I, I haven't even gotten anywhere, but I have such a bad feeling. I hear someone breathing beside me. I was so focused on the changes to the room that I didn't realize I wasn't alone in the lab. I shift my gaze to see who it is, and I find myself left breathless. What the fuck? <laughs> this is truly unexpected. Lukaku is facing me, eyes closed. What the- what's going on? What the hell is Lukaku doing? Lukako lets out a rather seductive sigh from between his lips. It doesn't look like he's sleeping. Lukako's tiny shoulders are trembling. It's almost like he's waiting for something. Waiting? But for what? Wait, I've seen this before. I mean, not in person, of course. I've seen this in movies and manga. And if I'm right, could he be waiting for... a kiss? Oh, a man-on-man -man kiss. Totally unheard of in the Steins Gate universe. Wait, hold on, Okabarintaro. There's no way that's what this is. I mean, we're talking about me kissing Lukako. Oh, I know, this has got to be some kind of prank. He probably lost a bet or something, so now I have to draw something goofy on his face. Now, that's got to be it. If not... Oh, it could be... It could also be that. He probably got something caught in his eye. He's waiting for me to help him get it out. Duh. This is all. To this this all totally makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Or at least it should have. But then Lukako parts his lips to speak. Okabe. He whispers my name with his tiny lips. I can feel my heart pounding the second I hear his quiet voice call out my name. Bro, we're really just jumping right right into it, straight into this shit. It's like he's asking me to do something. This has to be. No, it can't be. Why would Lukako and I ever be in a situation like this? 
Yeah, Lukaku is extremely pretty, considerate, and quite cute. But he's a man. That's when something crosses my mind. Could he be a girl now? For example, what if someone else had sent a D-mail and that had resulted in Lukaku becoming a girl? I find it doubtful as to whether or not a D-mail could actually affect someone's gender, but... But it might be possible if one were to send a D-mail to his mother or something. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't seem outside the realm of possibility, maybe. But even so, that doesn't explain the current predicament I find myself in. Even if Lukaku is a girl now, that doesn't explain what she's up to. In any case, I need to think about my next move. I attempt to get the juices flowing in my brain. Unfortunately, it's still chaos up in the noggin. Seconds pass without a single solution coming to mind. And so... I'm worried. Lukaku slowly opens his eyes. Oh. <laughs> he whispers, but then goes silent, almost as if the rest of what he wants to say is too embarrassing to put it into words. What's the plan, Okabe? What am I going to do? To be continued on to the next episode. Uh, now's not the time for jokes. <laughs> jokes on you, I can end this episode anytime I want. My best shot is to go with the most common reaction I can think of. He looks back at me, a puzzled expression on his face. I bet everything on, on this being a situation, or I bet everything on this being a situation where I was helping him get something out of his eye, but his reply tells me everything I need to know. Got confused there. Swing and a miss. So is this actually supposed to be a prank? Or... <laughs> Lukaku suddenly apologizes. Now it's my turn to be confused. Yeah. Man, we really jumped into something we we were not a part of in any shape or form. Like we just like dove in the middle of something wild. I was being kind, me, to Lukako. And what does he mean romantic? Lukako puts his hands on his cheeks and shakes his head back and forth, embarrassed. His reaction. No, no way. He opens his eyes widely and then... I see the tears forming in his eyes. There's no way we can interpret this correctly. I mean, it's better than how it was interpreted or gone about in the first game. That's for sure. For reasons even I don't understand, I attempt to correct myself. Yes. Lukako goes quiet as if thinking about something and turns away from me. His tears are gone, his blushing face remains. I wait for him to open his small lips to speak. And then... His tone of voice is soft. Come on. Lukaku shyly tries to form words. Ah. <laughs> That's the end of the game. Perverted affection anima. What kind of fucking chapter name is this? Lovers. Now, I'm not hearing things. 
I heard exactly what he just said. Lukaku just said that we're lovers, which obviously means that we're dating. <laughs> Lamant. Lamont? I, I actually don't know how to pronounce that. As the French would say, a couple. Sorry, I'm not French. As far as I'm aware, that's what you'd call two people who both love each other. I can't help but think for a moment that this is all some nutty joke. Like maybe Ferris is trying to pull a fast one on me or something. It's not impossible. No, that has to be what this is. God, I hope so. Lukako quietly voices my name. And that's when the door to the lab opens. Mayuri and Kirisu immediately go quiet upon seeing us, their expressions awkward. Something naughty? What's she talking about? ま、<笑> Okay, wait a minute. So, somebody told me, I think it was this playthrough when I first started it like five years ago, that the honorific that Mayuri uses for Lukako is a hint as to what sex he is in this world line. Does Lukakun mean that he's a boy or a girl? I can't remember what she usually says. That sounds familiar. Would she say Luka Chan if if Lukako was a guy or a girl or has she ever used that honorific? I don't know. What the hell are they talking about? What am I talking about? Is this a fever dream, a nightmare? Did our lab become super or some super trendy cafe without anyone telling me? What kind of conversation is this? <laughs> I'm trying to dance around the subject and Kirisu immediately catches on. A wicked grin across her face. <laughs> Kirisu and Mayuri exchange smiles. Meanwhile, next to me... Lukako is looking at the floor, his face bright red. I decide not to give much thought to what Kirisu meant with her words. Regardless, judging by their reactions, it's clear to me that what Lukako said earlier is true. Not that I ever really doubted him. Lukako would never lie to me like that. So how did this happen? No matter how much I rack my brain, I can't figure it out. If nothing else, the current me currently has no memories of how this came to be. However, one thing is very clear. The D-mail I sent earlier caused this dramatic shift, creating the situation I'm in right now. What happened in the past of this world line? How did I get here? I want to ask them directly, but I get the feeling I'd only regret it. Despite my own confusion, the three of them are just chatting away. It's exactly like that one old saying, you know, three women make a market. Yeah, I've totally heard that. Though I guess this is a little different considering Lukako's technically not a woman. Or is he? Wait a second. 
I entertained the possibility earlier, but what if the D-mail resulted in Lukaku becoming a girl? Like, I never I never thought it was impossible. That's why I, I was wondering in the beginning of the game what sex he was. Because when you jump into something like this, you don't really know. That's right. Mayuria notwithstanding, even Kijisu seems unfazed by our relationship. Considering how shocked she was when she found out Lukaku was a guy, that seems a bit odd. This is totally possible. And if that's the case, this isn't really that big of a deal. Well, as long as we ignore how I personally feel about Lukaku. I watch Lukaku's face as he or she enjoys some girl talk with Mayuri and Kirisu. Is there anything different about Lukaku compared to the, to the other world line? Or more specifically, are there any signs that he's a she now? Now we're just going at it. Kirisu shouts at me. なぜ俺がバカ呼ばわりされねばならんのだ嘘い でもオカリンってばルカ君のことじっと見つめてちょっとずつ近づいてたよねそれは確かめようとしていただけだ確かめる確かめるって何をよだからそれはルカ君がうん<笑> I turn to look at Lukako and he meets my gaze. I give it some thought. Hypothetically speaking, if the Lukako in this world line is in fact a girl, from my perspective, it feels like Lukako just suddenly became a girl out of nowhere. But for everyone else, she had been this way since she was born. If I said I wanted to check to see if Lukako is a girl or not, well, who knows how they'd take that? Not well. Not well, and we know this for a fact. They'd look at me like I was a real creep. Hell, that'd be the best case scenario. Kirisu would probably smash me over the head with a textbook or something and then make me sit in Saiza for hours on end. I could do without the torture, thank you very much. They totally have the wrong idea about this, but whatever. That's not important. My number one priority is confirming whether Lukako is a boy or a girl. I've honestly been just staring at the text, waiting for like a, like, she, or her, or just something that lets me know. I attempt a wide variety of strategies in an attempt to make a confirmation. I ask about his favorite color, animal, and whether he likes sweets or not. You know, the essentials. I also pay close to a... I also pay close to attention to... That's not how you say that. To how he speaks and carries himself. Hell, I'm basically watching this his every move. At one point, I even try sniffing him. I'm particularly careful about that last one. Kirisu would probably never stop calling me a perv if she caught me in the act. After making use of every tool available to me, I came or I come to a conclusion. Lukako is a girl. I also reach a secondary, perhaps even greater conclusion. No matter how you look at her, Lukako has always looked and acted like a girl. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're a guy and you act like a girl, more feminine or whatever, that's all you, man. Power to you and God bless America. I find myself blown away by this unforeseen truth. Lukako sets her gaze on me. 
実は今自分の浅はかさに呆れ果てていたところだなんだあんた今頃気づいたの That's messed up, dog. キルシュウィッドローブロー、いや、アブソルティー。But I have something more important to deal with right now. I have no time for her games. えっと、僕、よくわからないけど、岡部さんは浅はかだなんてことはないと思います。へへへへ、熱々だね。本当、熱すぎて湯気で真実が見えなくなってるみたい。Lukako's far more feminine than Kirisu, no matter how you look at it. Still, it's way too early to say anything definite, er, definitively. I can't leave things ambiguous. I have to know for sure. I've tried every plan I could come up with. The only thing left is. I have no choice. I was hoping I could avoid this, but. Laugh all you want. I am a ruthless man who would cut down God or even the Buddha if fate would have me do so. Lukako looks concerned. I've made up my mind. I reach for Lu. Oh, no, dude. Don't. Don't do it, man. Please don't. It's just a reminder of events that occurred at a worse time. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Wait, this is. <laughs> It's there. That thing is there. Ooh. Ooh. I feel for it once more. <laughs> It's definitely there. Hell is bigger than mine. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Wait, that means that Lukako is still a man. Overcome with rage, Kirisu attacks me with a huge book. Oh, wait, we, uh, we guessed it right. The Chinubio act won't work this time. Moments later, I feel something smash into my head. Well, I guess she didn't fall for it. So, this is some man on man action. I mean, that's totally fine by me. I like it's it's surprising, but okay. I was kind of joking earlier about how, like, it's not really surprising in the Steinsgate series, and I guess I have to follow through with it. I'm not really surprised. I'm not. I mean, I guess I am surprised that they didn't go along with Lukako being a girl in this world line when they could legitimately get away with it just for that romance story and Okabe trying to, you know, having to deal. But the fact that he's always known Lukako as a guy, but now Lukako being a girl, a little different. I think that was the same thing that happened in the original, so maybe they're trying to shake it up. This time, they're already together, and it's man on man action. Unless maybe we're the girl. Actually, never mind. Completely forget I said that. Anyways, we're gonna end the episode here a little early. I apologize for that. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.